Hey y'all, this intro was filmed after I did the work. Um, I had a prior intro done. I just wanted to say, um, I made my way through it based on instructions and uh, tips on the internet. And if I can do this winterization of the water system of a lunar rover, anybody can. It was, uh, once I figured it out, it was very, very, very easy. I hope this video helps you. Um, do not leave water in your uh, in your camper over freezing temperatures because it will ruin things. So um, I hope this video helps people. And it was super easy to do once once I uh, sort of figured out the instructions. So it takes about ten minutes if you know what you're doing. Hopefully, this video will make you know what you're doing. Cheers! Like, share, and subscribe. Okay, so I am out here continuing the winterization of my Lunar Rover, and first step is, I recommend, is go on the Intech website and print off the proper instructions on how to do so. They provided great instructions. So, I am doing the draining the system prep for winterizing step. You may want to pause this to have a look at it. It says to open this one, open this one, open this one, and close this one. So I've done that. Um, I've pre-drained my tank um, just because I wanted to get the water out. And uh, so that step is done. I am going to move to the next step, which is this for winter eyes. It says to pump non-toxic antifreeze and there is non-toxic food grade antifreeze. Do not use car antifreeze on this because it will poison you. Um, this will protect the lines. The valves need to be closed. So RV antifreeze does not pump into the tank. Make sure you keep the sink faucet on. Dip 10, which is this hose right here. Dip 10 into the RV antifreeze and turn on the pump. Once there's fluid in the sink, close the faucet, turn the pump off. Make sure you, about a cup or more of antifreeze runs down the sink into the P-trap. Once the RV antifreeze is pumped through the system, close the number four valve. So I am going to do that right now. Okay, so I have, I'm ready to do the antifreeze and I have closed that, which goes to the tank. I've closed that excuse me, which goes from the pump to the tank. I've closed that and I've opened that. So now I can turn on the power and turn on the tap and start getting the, uh, the antifreeze running through the pipes. This is the stuff I'm using. Um, this can't fit inside that nozzle. So I poured some in a bucket and we are going to turn on the power with this in the bucket. We're going to see what happens. Okay, so I have the antifreeze in the bucket. The end taken off of this end plug was, was uh, on this hose here. Keep that for later. You're going to need a crescent wrench. Um, I'm going to turn the power back on and turn the tap on. And out comes red stuff, which is the, uh, which is the antifreeze. And I'm just going to put this until the P-trap is full and I am guessing that it's CA running out underneath onto my lawn which is pretty not awesome. Okay so as you can see I have all of the valves closed. Two closed along the back wall, one closed that's the vertical up to the pump and the only one that I have open is that one there that goes to this hose that has the food grade antifreeze in the bucket. So now, um, oh, you have to also ensure that under there is closed. Otherwise it's all gonna run out like my first take of this video. So we're gonna try it again. Um, turn this on. And I'm just gonna let it fill up and fill up the P-trap. Just gonna leave that like that. 
And now I am going to go on the Facebook group and figure out how to do the toilet. So I remembered there was a post on the Luna forums um, by a guy named Stephen Garrett. Thank you very much, Stephen, for posting this. Uh, for the toilet, you'll need to treat it as a faucet, hook up all the winterization stuff, and then flush the toilet until it spits out antifreeze. On his 2021, there's a nozzle up front under where you pull the cassette out. I believe that's a low point drain for the toilet and the and also the supply line. You could run that until it runs antifreeze and then flush the toilet until it spits out coolant. That might be a quicker way to do it. So I'm going to try what Steven said. Okay, so I have opened up the front door. There's the cassette. And I believe this is the supply line that Steven's referring to that goes down under there. Let's see what happens when I turn this. Oh. It's running pink. So I think that's all you have to do. Like right there is the tap and I have I have the uh the suction hose for the system in the bucket of uh, pink antifreeze. And if I turn this on, I can hear the pump going because I have the pump on and it's running pink. All right, so obviously that line from the front of the trailer to the back of the trailer is all full of this pink stuff now. So let's go inside and flush a toilet and see what happens. Okay, I'm inside now and looking at a toilet and that's a toilet in there. So by rights, because the, the pink antifreeze has been running through the supply line, if I flush this right now, pink stuff should come out. That's water and pink stuff. Okay, I, uh, I'm confident that my trailer is now winterized and that was super duper easy. I apologize the awkwardness of this because it was my first time. It's my first trailer. Um, I was reading from instructions. So I hope this helps somebody. Um, yeah, I hope it helps somebody. It's super easy to do yourself. Do not pay an RV dealership to do this for you. You can do it yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. One last thing I needed to add is when you're done, this is the, uh, this is the suction, follow it back up and close that valve as well. Uh, put the, uh, put the plug, put the plug back in this, tuck it back away and you are done the water portion of winterizing.